Hey guys, welcome back to my channel via Glow. If you're new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a ship with me video. Um, I wanna show you guys what sold this past weekend. And for reference, this is the weekend right before Thanksgiving. So let's just jump in. All right, so I made a gross profit of $618, a net profit of $470. And then I only made 22 sales across three platforms, which is 16 on Poshmark, four on eBay and then two on Mercari. So, all right, of course, we're gonna start with Poshmark because you know, Poshmark is king. Uh, so the first one is actually this J. Crew blazer. I did pick this one up at the Benz and this one was a size 12. So I was even more intrigued behind it, mainly because not only was it a size 12, um, but it was wool and it is tan. And this is just like the colorway. This isn't necessarily tan, but y'all know it's brown. Um, but brown is really that girl right now. Like everybody is loving neutrals. I personally prefer neutrals over anything. Granted, I got this pastel top on, but you know, I'm trying something different. But uh, yeah, so this one, this one actually just sold yesterday. I had an influx of sales on Sunday and I think I made literally half of my sales yesterday. Um, so I'm pretty appreciative. I don't know what was the uptick, but I am so incredibly grateful uh, because I was really nervous Friday and Saturday because sales were really, really, really slow. And I was just like, ooh, this is about to be a, a real sad shit with me video, but it ended up kind of turning around. So I love that for me. But this one ended up selling for my full asking price. This one got a lot of attention on Poshmark and I was waiting for the right person to come along. You already know I send out, I wanna say 25% off offers after like two minutes of liking my item. So this person came in, they probably saw all of the likes that I had on it and it was like, oh yeah, I'm not sending an offer. So they bought it for my full asking price and I'm actually happy. And I know that I priced it accordingly. Um, so 65 is not like, you know, such a shock that it sold for that price point, but you already know how, you know, these platforms go. People really like to get a, a deal, even though, you know, your original listing price is somewhat of a deal because they're not paying the full asking price. Um, but yeah, so that one sold and I paid 99 cents for it at the bins. So I did make a profit of $51.01 after fees and cost of goods. And this is a 100%, uh, you know, pickup brand for me, especially their blazers. I do only pick them up at the bins. If the price is right at a thrift store, I'll pick it up. I recently passed on one and somebody let me know in the comments that um, I should have picked it up, but I let them know like the style was old as well as the color wasn't really vibing. And then it was also like overpriced. I'm not paying $15. Granted, if it was that one, I consider because $65 is a really good amount. All right, the next one is from a brand called Soupmeisters. I did pick this one up over the summer and I still listed it. I remember maybe like a year or two ago, I remember somebody telling me that, um, you know, people do Christmas in July as kind of like a, a work thing. I've never heard of it. So that's, that was the only reason why I listed it um, that season, but it didn't sell. It did get a lot of likes, um, but then of course it ended up relisting multiple times. And um, you know, it finally sold. This one also sold for my full asking price. So I'm excited about that. Let me do this again, cause that looked a little terrible. But yeah, so just like a Christmas blazer for men, um, I've never heard of the brand. It's called Soupmeisters, and I would 100% pick it up again because this one um, sold for $32. Like I said, I did get it over the summer, so it did take you know a while to sell. And this kind of goes back to what I was saying initially by kind of like making sure that I list items that are in season because you know you you waste time. Well, not necessarily if you're not doing it on your own, but. My bot wasted time like sharing it. You know, it's been relisted a few times on eBay and you know, it's just, it's not necessary. So just list it in the season or, I mean, you don't have to, but I personally, I will list items specifically um, that are in season, like, you know, moving forward. I think I just started my little pile, but I don't know. I mean, we all gotta do what's best for our business. I just noticed a trend in my closet that the items don't sell out of season. And if they do sell out of season, the buyer of course wants the best deal because it is out of season. And I don't really get jiggy with that. So um, I'm gonna make sure I stay in season. But this one sold for $32. 
I did pay a dollar and nine cents for it at the bins and I made a profit of $24.51 after fees and cost of goods. All right, so this is J. Crew. These are just like some khaki uh, chino pants. These are actually called the Sutton. Um, they're summer weight chinos. So I picked these up, of course, at the bins. And I don't know, like I feel like every pair of J. Crew pants or just anything J. Crew, if it has a style name for it, for men, I'm gonna look into it. And um, this one was doing decent. Like it wasn't like, you know, crazy, but the price point was okay. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And the size was good, it was like a 33, 30 or something like that. So went on and got it. This one took maybe like two months uh to sell and i was a little bit nervous because with this saying summer weight chino i assume that these are like more for the summertime <laughs> so somebody came in and uh, sent me an offer i had them listed at 28 dollars. i didn't want to overprice typically i would list them at 32 dollars and hope to get like a 25 to 20 dollar sale but i went on and listed them at 28 so when i received a 20 dollar offer i thought that was perfect so i went on and accepted it i think it had only two lights aside from the person that purchased it so i was just like you know what i think that's a good price point for something that i got at the bins and i went on and accepted it and i paid a dollar 24 for it and i made a profit of 14.76 after fees and cost of goods and j crew is just one of those brands that i, I pretty much experiment with like i pick up literally everything i mean whatever they sell i'm picking it up um and i'm gonna test it out because my cost of goods are really low and you know i can easily check a quick comp a quick sell through rate and know if it's worth picking up and these definitely were all right so this is a madewell sweater uh this one does have like either wool and alpaca or something like that i've been lucky enough to kind of come across a few of these sweatshirts at the bins where the fabric content is really good and the size is a larger size so that seldomly happens but i was lucky enough to find this one in a size large i knew it would perform decently um so i tried to make sure i priced it accordingly but also like let people know that the ones that are interested anyway is that i'm going to be getting a certain amount so generally speaking i would have priced this 25 dollars uh because i know that it you know may well has declined just a smidge um and i just didn't want this one to sit because i i feel like with maywell right now it sits for me and i don't want that and of course i find it a lot at the bend so now i'm very mindful of what i'm actually bringing home and um, vetting the style vetting the size vetting the quality because some stuff is you know kind of worn so i don't even bother picking those up anymore but since this was in a, a great you know size the style was still current and the fabric content was good i thought you know this would be a great pickup so i did price it kind of high at 45 dollars, but i knew that i would sell it for like 25 to 30. that was the goal <laughs> so um i had it priced at 45 and they came in and sent me a 20 to 8 dollar offer which was only a five dollar difference from what my bot initially sent them so of course i went on and accepted it because i thought that you know 28 dollars on a bins item is a great uh you know price point so once I accepted it, that means that I didn't have to pay any type of shipping fee. Uh, so I paid a dollar and eight cents for this and I actually got this in November. So this one took what, maybe, you know, two weeks to sell. I'm not really sure which week I got it, but it was a November pickup and um, I did make a profit of twenty one dollars and thirty two cents. <laughs> after uh fees and cost of goods so i think that was a pretty good you know return on my investment there all right this one was a exciting find so the brand is called agnona i know i butchered that um but it said made in italy and that was the main reason why i picked it up and it was 100 percent silk so i was just like let me look more into this and thank god i did what is all these extra noises child but i looked more into it and um this is a you know high dollar designer so i was really excited to um find it and i got a pretty good price point for it it sold for 50 dollars and we love to see it so i thought that price point was really good uh and i was excited because i did have it listed high 
and what ended up happening was when I had it listed high, um, I really knew that I should just wait around for the right buyer because since this brand is a designer brand, I could definitely get over 50 bucks for it. So I only listed it at, uh, I wanna say $75 uh, because it did have a missing belt. And I think that that is kind of important to have if it's a, you know, a shirt dress with a belt, it's good to have that. But granted, you could put any belt on it. I listed it at, um, you know, the, 75 and they came in and sent me a $50 offer and I was like of course so I ended up uh, paying uh oh dang I ended up paying $1.35 for it at the bins and I made a profit of $38.65 after feeding the cost of goods all right this one was a pretty fun find um I actually went thrifting without y'all and I'm so sorry but um I went thrifting this past week and um I found some really great items and this was one this is actually a packed sweater it was in excellent condition and that's why i went on and picked it up at a regular thrift store um my cost of goods that day was actually really good to say the very least especially with all that i found i found this found smart wool a good american bodysuit um some other things i can't remember but this one sold really quickly and uh pack is a organic brand that i have actually been looking into myself um, because I want to get like a two piece set from them because <laughs> uh, the, the quality of the material is just really nice. But this one was listed at $38 and my bot sent them a $30 offer with discounted shipping. This is a really good pickup. And um, since the bot sent them a discount, I did pay $3.33. If you guys don't know, I do do an average of my cost of goods. So of course at thrift stores, you already know every item is priced per item. Um, but I like to just add up how many items I got and divide it by how much I paid. And that's what I get for each item. So this one ended up making me a profit of uh, $19.45 after season cost of goods, which I'm completely okay with. Um, I knew that this would sell well because I think I found a packed t-shirt before at the bands and it sold fairly quickly. And I'm like, wow, this is just a basic t-shirt and somebody is paying 20, 20 or $25 for it. So I'm like, this must be a good brand. And I found out that it was. All right, this one kind of shocked me because I found these at the bins. These are called bird dogs. Now, this is a menswear brand, and I was happy to find it at the bins, of course. Like, anytime I find something at the bins, it just brings a different type of excitement due to the fact that it's at the bins. So, I'm paying, you know, a dollar for it. Um, but found these, really excited, and I'm like, okay, we love to see it. Then I ended up finding some chubby shorts as well. Um, I don't think I'll haul that video for y'all. I'm sorry, but found the chubby shorts with it. Um, and I'm like, okay, do I list these or do I wait? So I was like, you know what? Bird Dog is such a great brand. It does have a high sell through rate. Let me go ahead and list it now. And, um, I'm glad that I did because it sold within like what, two days. And, uh, they ended up sending me an offer for $29. I have them listed at 38 because of course my intent behind listing things at 38 is that I want to get 25 to $30 for it. So listed it at the 38. They sent me that $29 offer. I thought it was very reasonable. I did have a few likes on it already. So of course I just, I just went on and accepted it because I thought it was still a great offer. No need to just wait it out, you know? Um, but I did make a profit of $22.19 and I did pay a dollar and one cents for it. All right, this is going out to a viewer. Hey girl, hey. Uh, this is a free people like, you know, sweater, sweatshirt, I wanna say, I don't know. The mesh is what's throwing me off. Like this, the knit material is very much so a sweatshirt, but the mesh is like, okay. But I did find a stock photo for it. Um, I didn't list this one high just because you already know how I feel about uh, free people. It doesn't sell for much for me unless, you know, it might be a staple piece like a maxi dress or something um, or like a heavyweight cardigan. So I didn't want to list this one high because I didn't want to sit on it. But this got immediate attention and I was really happy about that because uh, that lets me know that like, OK, you know, the style or even just like the item in general is uh, possibly sought after because it just didn't make any sense to uh, accumulate likes within minutes of me listing it, you know. Um, but since this one's gone out to a viewer, I appreciate her. 
she liked it my bot ended up sending her an offer and here we are so yeah this was just a nice little free people piece from the bins um i did have to wash it because it did have like some discoloration on the neckline but yeah so this one um sold for 18 dollars. like i said my bot ended up sending her an offer after she liked it and i paid a dollar and eight cents at the bins and i made a profit of eleven dollars and thirty cents after fees and cost of goods which I'm I'm kind of okay with. <laughs> um, maybe I shouldn't have listed that low just so I can try to get close to that $15 net profit per item that I pick up. But you know, you live and you learn. Do I want a fast flip or a slow flip? And that is always the question. So I priced it pretty low, but that's probably my fault. All right, so I have a three piece bundle. This is a Madewell sweatshirt. It is a large, so like I said, was happy to find Madewell uh, at the bins, good size. This is a great colorway. The funny thing about it is that this actually sold on Curtsy for $25. I shipped it. I ended up getting, um, you know, a notification that it was sent back to me. So then, of course, once I got it, I reached out to the buyer and I'm like, hey, you know, this was shipped back. Um, you know what? what's the matter or whatever so she was like i'm not sure you know i've ordered on here before it's been no issues so then since it was the weekend i told her like hey i'll just ship it out and i'll send you the tracking number on monday and then over the weekend uh i had noticed that it was like the what the 15th or so i want to say and i'm like man i've only made one sale on you know curtsy and then i'll start to thinking about how um i noticed that everything that i had what is what is it called on curtsy i've unlisted that has sold on all the other platforms they just relisted it um which i don't even know how that's even possible so i noticed that if i don't delete the item then it's just going to show right back up so i was really 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 annoyed so i ended up um just reaching out to curtsy and having them um refund the girl because of course the item is here so i'm like refund her and then i close my account um i'll talk about it more in my recap video but yeah i end up closing my curtsy account but this is a antonio milani um like i want to say this was a wool blend like merino wool in amazing condition um and of course this person has great style because they got like really cute very vanilla girl colorways they did reach out to me um, in, in the bundle and told me that they love my closet and they had liked a lot of items. And this is where blocking people that like a lot of items and put it in their cart could absolutely go wrong because she liked some items and then um, put them in her cart. I when people do like 15 that's when I'm like okay you over here playing games like and it annoys me because I'm like what what are you doing with this and I block people um but this one I didn't she I noticed a, a slight pattern like the bottoms were like mediums the tops were like largest so I'm like okay maybe they, this is a real shopper I go to her page I noticed that she does have like real items um listed let me make sure I do these right um, she has real items listed so i'm like okay she's not you know a uh, uh, bot you know just kind of playing games so i didn't block her and uh she i didn't even send her an offer because typically in a situation like that i would have sent her an offer this is another one this is called babaton um this is by the group babaton but yeah so she put everything in her card i didn't send her an offer and um what ended up happening was she you know sent her a message and then she told me i'm gonna modify it uh because i just got to get the stuff that i need and not want i'm like cool so then she ended up do i want to do these all separately maybe i can do them separately or i don't know if that's gonna fit in that box but yeah so she ended up with just these three and i was happy so she sent me she asked me could we do 55 the bundle came up to like 92 dollars i want to say and i told her no that's a bit too low um and i said 65 and then she was like 60 and then i was like yeah that's fine i mean it, these are all Ben's pickups, but the main well, I knew that I wanted to get a good amount as well as the Antonio Milani just because um, it actually 
had a lot of attention this babaton top absolutely did not so it was just kind of like you know i'll i'll lose out on that extra five but they got a, a pretty great deal honestly um so i'm pretty happy with it as well to get three pieces of inventory out especially the turnaround on that you know that maywell sweatshirt was a pretty good one but like i said it sold for 60 bucks i paid two dollars and 27 cents in total um for this lot and i made a profit of 45 dollars and 73 cents after fees and cost of goods and you know i think the breakdown on it what is about 20 dollars per item all right so this is a lucky brand snap like button up i told y'all already that me and lucky brand don't get along but it's really just me lucky brand women items um but i do have to say that i recently tried out a lucky brand women's cardigan it is plus size so i'm excited to see how that one actually does i think i just need to steer clear of all of their tops uh you know because those are the ones that sit around entirely too long regardless of the size and yeah but this one i think this one took maybe two months to sell so i'm cool with it uh the pearl snaps is really popular amongst the men i did not do this right but it is what it is so of course i went on and grabbed it because you know i knew that it would sell not sure for how much but i knew that it would sell <laughs> um but this one was listed at 28 dollars and my bot sent them a 21 dollar offer with discounted shipping and they accepted it so i paid a total of a dollar and 19 cents so i made a profit of 13.59 after fees and cost of goods and we got this one out in under two months so we love that this is a new to me brand called Allie miles um this is just kind of like a knit top it is textured i recently picked this brand up um and the top sold immediately um i think i had it listed for a day and it sold for my full asking price on ebay and it had me thinking like i have been slacking because i see this brand a lot at my bands but i've never looked into it but that other top i was like you know what this looks really nice it feels like it's brand new like let me go ahead and pick it up and try out the brand um of course you already know i checked the sell through rate and the comps um and clearly the sell through rate is fast as hell <laughs> So both of these pieces sold within like a few days of me listing them. So this might actually be just like a great bread and butter brand for me, uh, just because it, it sells quick and it sells for a decent amount. I think the first piece sold for $40. This one actually sold for 26. I probably could have priced it a little bit higher, but I didn't want to be greedy just because I've never picked up their like sweaters before. And personally, this one is not that cute um so i didn't want to have to sit on it so i ended up like you know pricing it accordingly i want to say i priced it at 35 dollars and um my box came in and i guess this is where i'll do my plug but i use pasha va and it's essentially just a poshmark virtual assistant and they will send offers to likers they will relist your items they will help you do any type of bulk task they also share your closet it's pretty helpful honestly um it helps me run my business in a way that i don't have to do it personally and we love to see it i'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested um but i would only suggest getting posture va if you are like a not necessarily volume but if you sell more than 200 items because you could easily just share those items yourself and you know do the functionality on your own but for me i have a thousand listings and i can't share all of those i cannot send personal offers to each and every person so i like to use a bot but you could also use flip flip is also free i also have that link down below but anyways this one sold for 26 dollars and i paid a dollar and one cents for it and i made a profit of 17 dollars and 77 cents after fees and cost of goods and we love to see it i'm gonna have to get my baby hulking all right this is that banana republic dress i think y'all just saw it on a recent haul um this was a great pickup this brand this one and j crew i'm always experimenting with and um, i was actually happy that i picked this up but i do think the keywords is the most important here um, because i made sure that i put like this was holiday like this is definitely a thanksgiving dress i mean granted thanksgiving well i mean i'm shipping it out today so it probably could get to them on thanksgiving but 
um this is a great christmas dress like this is a holiday dress for sure you can wear it to christmas parties and all the fun things so this one didn't take long to sell this one sold for my full asking price it did get attention on multiple different platforms and um, i was excited to see which platform it would actually sell on so when i got the notification it sold on poshmark i was giddy so i paid y'all my camera died um but anyways so i don't know where i left off but this was the banana republic green dress i did pay 89 cents for it and i sold it for 32 dollars and then i made a profit of 24.71 because it did sell at my full asking price so there was no discount or a shipping discount sent out so that was a pretty good sale i'm actually surprised this weekend i got a lot of um just outright buys, which people were shopping, shopping, I guess, this weekend, especially on Sunday. All right, this is a Carhartt uh, long sleeve. I felt like, not necessarily bad, but I, I felt like I shouldn't have picked this one up due to the fact that it is faded. And um, when I picked this one up, I also have picked up another one and that one sold fairly quickly. Of course, I used the words thrashed and all the things because it did have holes and everything, but this one had neither. <laughs> so I didn't use that keyword. Um, so this one was sold through an offer they sent me. And of course I accepted it because I think I had maybe two, you know, people that had liked the item. So when they sent me a $15 offer, of course I accepted it because I think $15 on an item that is faded, uh, is a good little profit there. So I did pay 90 cents for this and I made a total of $11.10 after fees and cost of goods. I don't know, I think I'd definitely pick it up again. Um, I don't know, both of them sold fairly quickly within like, what, a month and a half. So I pick up Carhartt again if I see it. So y'all just keep having technical difficulties. The memory card is full, the battery's dying, but we're almost done. Um, so the next thing to sell on Poshmark was this BKE, like, you know, heavyweight cardigan this was definitely a style pickup um i think i've picked up bke jeans i don't think i've ever picked up like their tops but this one was a size large it was tan it was chunky knit literally all the bells and whistles so that was the main reason why i got it i would have picked this up regardless of the brand honestly so this one was just you know recently picked up and didn't make the haul <laughs> but um it was recently picked up and um I think I had multiple likes on it. So yeah, this one actually sold for $23. I think that is from a offer to Watcher and um, they accepted it and I paid a dollar and one cents for it. And I made a profit of $17.39 after fees and cost of goods. Uh oh, yeah, I have to double it up. But yeah, so this was, this was a, you know, style pickup. And I feel like I very seldomly, you know, pick up items just due to style, just because I don't want to risk it not selling. But I think when you kind of have an eye a little bit, you're able to take that risk. And especially at the bands, you know, um, you can really take that risk. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I thought it was going to be a great piece and it ended up being a great piece. I don't know if I could have got more for it, um, but y'all already know, I just, I've, can't, I've come to a place where I just, no more emotion behind all these items. They're just clothes. They make me money and I want to keep it that way, you know? All right. So this was a somewhat decent sale. Um, this is Banana Republic. I picked this one up due to the fabric content. I believe it was alpaca and wool blend. I feel like I could have got more, honestly, because it's in excellent condition. But I noticed when it comes to Banana Republic, their sweaters don't perform that well for me. Um, I don't think I've ever really gotten over $25 for them. And I'm thinking now, like maybe if I held out, maybe I could, <laughs> um, especially this one. But I believe this one is a older style just due to the way that it's ribbed awkwardly. Um, but I received a message. I think they asked me a question like, is this gray or beige? And honestly, I was disappointed in myself because I put that it was beige, but this is very much so gray. Um, it has like a beige undertone. So I think I, I told them that it's like a grayish beige. <laughs> um, I just didn't want anybody to get it because typically um, this type of colorway, it's always kind of like a white undertone. So it's like gray and white, but this one is more beigey. So 
answered her question and she sent me a offer. Um, I think it was like a $10 off situation. So I had to weigh my options real quick because I did have other people that like the item and I'm just kind of like, you know what? I don't know how this weekend is gonna, you know, pan out. And this was Saturday. So I was just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and accept it. And I feel like this weekend, I have been much more accepting to quite literally all the offers that I got. I don't think I countered any of them. Um, actually, I take that back. <laughs> I countered on this next one. And um, I think that when you have an item that you just listed and you get immediate attention on it, I think that it is important to consider the fact that, okay, either this piece is sought after or it's just kind of popular <laughs> a little bit. So that means that, you know, some people are, you know, waiting around to either get it at a lower discount or they're waiting around to like get paid to purchase it themselves. So um, on this one particularly, I didn't mind uh, accepting the offer. I had it listed at 25. They actually sent me a $15 offer and I'm like, okay, my bot ended up sending them like an $18 offer with discounted shipping. It literally balances out the same way. So why would I not accept it? You know, even though I would have liked to get like 20 bucks for it because of the fabric content, I just, I took my L, but this one sold for $15. I paid 99 cents for it. So I made a profit of $11 and one cents after fees and cost of goods. All right, so this is the last sale on Poshmark. This is a Maeve top. I did get this from the bins as well. Um, and listed this one and I'm, I'm not even exaggerating y'all. Like I don't even think it had been a full minute before I got two likes on it. Um, so I'm just like, interesting. I did, you know, do my research when I looked up the item. Of course, I found the stock photos. I saw that it was selling between 20 to um, $25. So it wasn't a lot. So of course I didn't price mine high. I priced it at $28 because I already knew my bot was going to send them a $21 offer with discounted shipping. Um, because as of late, that's quite literally where all my Maeve is selling at is, you know, about 15 to 20 bucks. So I didn't want to sit on this for a couple more months just to make, you know, a few more dollars. Granted, I probably could have because this is definitely a summer piece. Um, but it just didn't give me very much so like a staple piece. I know I have a made skirt that I priced really high due to the fact that uh, the comps on it is high and you know I feel like that one is more of a staple. So anyways, I this one got two likes within literally a minute of me listing it. Um, the bot sent them offers, they didn't accept it. A third person came in that following day and they actually um, sent me a $15 offer and I had to weigh my options because like I said my bot sent them a $21 offer with discounted shipping and I just thought that 15 was just a little bit too low for my liking so I ended up countering uh, 18 even though I feel like a $3 counter is wild I just know that if I would have waited a little bit longer I probably could have got $20 but I said you know what 18 that's going to be my cutoff price um, and they accepted it. So I'm like, great. We love that. So this one sold for $18. I did pay a dollar and one cents for it. And um, I made a profit of $13 and 39 cents after fees and cost of goods. But yeah, y'all. So this is actually just a pair of J. Crew pants. The style I want to say is like Bowery or I'm trying to figure out if this the um, the style of this specific pants or the fabric because when I looked up J. Crew Bowery, um, I saw a lot of wool items. I saw blazers. I saw the pants. Um, so I'm wondering if it is just specific to the style or specific to um, the fact that it is wool. I'm not sure. Um, I checked, you know, comps and the sell through rate and it was actually pretty damn good. So I listed these at a, I feel like a really affordable price point and they sold for my full asking price. And anytime, you know, you sell something really quick, you always kind of, you know, look back like, man, did I sell that for too low? But I think that's why it's so important to do your research um, because then you will know like, okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> you price it accordingly to the comps. And that's what I did with these. So I think I had them initially listed at $55 and I um, priced it at $39.99 on eBay um, because that's $40, but it looks like it's 30 something, you know, it's like, mind control but anyways uh so i received a notification that the item sold and i don't know why i thought it was something else but it was this one and i was actually really happy about it uh because that lets me know that 
I picked up a great piece for it to sell within like a day of listing. I'm like, of course, like, you know, we, we got a, a real good pickup here. So this one sold for $39.99 and I paid $1.09 for it. And I made a profit of $34.60 after fees and cost of goods. All right, so this is a Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren button down chambray top. I was picking this up because um, I heard a YouTube reseller talk about this you know specific brand doing good because it's no longer sold but it is currently oversaturated <laughs> so i had to kind of you know drop my price on it and it kind of broke my heart because i feel like it's a size large you know it's the denim and supplies ralph lauren so i didn't price it high because i did want to uh you know not sit on it just to make a couple more dollars so I priced this one at $19.99 and um, somebody bought it full asking price. This one, I feel like I've had this at least for about three months now. Um, so yeah, it, I mean, technically it didn't take long to sell, but y'all already know I'm so used to like getting fast flips, buying items and they sell within like a week or two or hell under a month. So this one technically was, you know, a good sale. It just didn't seem that way. Three months just seemed so long. But yeah, so I paid 99 cents for it. And after fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $16.84, which is not bad. That's right around that price point that I like. So we love that. All right, this is a Ivy Jane top. I actually recently hauled this in my recent haul video. Uh, this one didn't sell for as much as I wanted, but I think I sent out offers, so i had it priced probably at $24.99 hoping that somebody would buy it at that price because it was pretty low but i noticed that ebay was the only platform that it had attention on so i figured you know if it's two people liked it i might as well get you know a pretty good flip so i have a, a pair of lululemon um like jogger sweatpants i ended up um finding them of course at the bands but they were not in the best condition so i didn't list them high at all but i still felt like they had life to live like you know um because i sold something similar that was from lululemon for like 28 dollars. so this guy is messaging me and he asks is it a large or an extra large and i think what what bothers me a lot in this business is that people fail to read um because i don't even know how he could even ask me which size is it when i've already stated that it's a size large in the title description and in the size on the platform i just i i don't understand you know that's three times you surpass what it is um so the fact that you reach out and you ask me what size is it so then I tell him and I am working on my customer service because I feel like I could do a little bit better with it um, because I just assume that people aren't as stupid as they really are, I guess. So um, I just answered the question because initially I wanted to say, well, um, it's this size like stated in the title, but I did not I was like, you know what? I said, it's a size large in a 32 inch inseam. And then he said, I am a extra large and extra, extra large okay like this item is a large <laughs> so like it's up to you whatever you want to do but anyways um the ivy jane sold for 21.24 it uh, looks like i sent them an offer and i paid 89 cents for it and i made a profit of 70 dollars 97 cents all right this was a new to me brand i could not find any type of tags on it anything but the quality of it felt really nice i really wanted it to be lululemon but i ended up finding the um the what do you call it the logo and the brand is called alexo now once i found it with google lens thank god for google lens um i looked into it and this is like a pew pew carrier uh type of pair of shorts so if you are uh like a runner and you like to keep that thing on you you know what i'm saying um these are the shorts for you so these got instant attention on ebay and i've had these i want to say maybe for about two months now and every time you know i see a liker or a watcher on it i end up sending an offer this thing had over 20 something views and like four likers on it or watchers and i'm just kind of like what what's tea because these retail for like 70 dollars, and i got mine i think at the time when i first listed it i had it at 19.98 because i'm like that's a good price point 
but I noticed it wasn't moving. It wasn't getting no attention, nothing. So when I dropped it to 17, and then when I end up relisting it, I dropped it um, to 15.98, and I'm like, okay, this is where it's gonna sit at. And um, somebody ended up buying it full asking price, so that was a good thing, but I don't know. I'd probably pick it up again, honestly. <laughs> Um, but I price it accordingly to make sure that I can get a faster flip. But these ones sold for $15.98. I paid a dollar for it, so I made a profit of $13.23 after fees and cost of goods. All right, so we move on to my sad Mercari sales. This is from a brand called Moon River. It is very boho. I actually didn't know it was sold at Anthropology, but looking at it, it definitely is. Um, just a great boho brand. I probably could have got a little bit more for this, but since it was a new to me brand and I picked it up strictly off of style, um, I didn't want to sit on it. I don't know if Anthro has slowed down for y'all, but it definitely has. Um, no, I don't want to say slow down, but the price point, I don't get a lot for Anthropology. I don't know if I'm not picking up the right, you know, brands. That's probably it actually, um, when I think about it, <laughs> but I don't know, like nothing, nothing gets a lot, you know. So I'm always at that, you know, 20 to $25 price point. But I had this one listed at 28. They sent me a offer for, um, I'm sorry, I had it listed at 25. And they sent me an offer for 18.75, which is the lowest that Mercari allows, which is just 25% off. And um, I accepted it. So this one sold within like a month. It's gotta been maybe three weeks um, at that. So I think this was a pretty quick flip for the most part and I paid 99 cents for it and I made a profit of 14.70 after fees and cost of goods and that's right around that price point that I told y'all $15 is what I want to make after everything is set and done on each item minimum okay all right so the last thing to sell was this Christmas Studio Joy you know sweatshirt full zip this thing was just so stinking cute and I actually got this September of last year. So she's been sitting. And of course, I initially listed this really high. I had to been at like $45. At the time, you know, I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I feel like where I'm at now is probably the chef kiss of reselling for my business personally. Um, but back then, it was just kind of like, oh, it's a Christmas sweater. I've sold Christmas sweaters for this amount. I'm gonna price it high, girl. So I ended up uh, dropping the price and um, somebody ended up sending me an offer. So I think I priced it at $25 and um, this person sent me a offer for $19 and I accepted it. So there's that. I am happy to get it out. Um, Christmas sweaters, I do have amazing luck with selling them, but I think that it really just depends on your style of, you know, what you pick up because Everybody lists Christmas sweaters and some of them are like incredibly unique and some of them are not. Um, and I think, I thought this one was like really unique. I thought it was really nice, but this was a petite small. So of course the right buyer had to come along. I feel like if this was a large or an extra large, I think it would have performed a lot better, but I'm still grateful. Um, this was a Ben's pickup. So I did pay a dollar and 46 cents for it and I made a profit of $14.31 after fees and cost of goods. And you know, that's just, that's just where we're at, okay? So yeah. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching this video. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoyed this content. And go ahead and subscribe because if you made it this far, you clearly like my channel, okay? So stop playing and hit that subscribe button. You might as well turn on the bell notifications. I mean, why not at this point? Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.